channel Kids Cloud. Please subscribe to this channel Kids Cloud. How do we measure length, height or a distance? Hello friends. Let's start our today's topic with some questions. My first question is what is the average height of a giraffe? Okay, I will give you 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 Do you know the answer? Okay, I will tell you. The average height of a giraffe is 5 to 6 meters or 500 to 600 centimeters. Here we have expressed the height of a giraffe in meters or centimeters. Here is my next question. Do you know the distance between the sun and the earth? Your time starts now. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, fine. The answer is 150 million kilometers. Here we have used kilometers to express the distance. My third and last question. Do you have ever measured the dimensions of a three-dimensional shape? If you didn't, then now you can do after watching this video. For example, if you want to mention dimensions of a cuboid, you have to think about its length, height and weight. You may think why we are talking. Completely different context. Listen the questions and answers carefully. In these three questions, one common thing we are going to discuss about is the length. According to the context, we have used the word height, width or distance instead of a length. What is a length? Length is a term used to identify the size of an object. Generally, it is used to evaluate how long or how tall an object is. It is also referred to a distance between two points. Now the question is, how do we measure the length? Various units are there for the measurement of a length. In today's video, we will discuss the units of length used in the metric system of measurements. These are millimeter, centimeter, meter, and kilometer. When we measure the length, width, height, or distance between objects, it's important that we must choose the unit very wisely. So when should we choose millimeter, centimeter, meter, or kilometer? Now let's see how we can use these units practically. The standard unit in metric system for the measurement of length is meter. For measuring the smaller objects, millimeter and centimeter are used, while meters and kilometers are used for the measurements of larger objects dimensions or for the distance measurements. Can you find the objects which we measured in millimeter? Now you aware that millimeter and centimeter we can use for the measurement of smaller objects. Here are some examples. Thickness of a coin, thickness of a matchstick, diameter of a nail, tip of a pencil. In all these examples, you have to do the measurements in millimeter as these are very small objects. Now can you find the objects which we measure in centimeters? 
centimeter is a bigger unit than millimeter here are some examples in which you can express the measurements in terms of centimeters for example length of a pen or pencil dimensions of mobile or a book even length of our fingers we can express in terms of centimeters can you find the objects which we measure in meters as meter is a bigger unit we have to choose the objects that are bigger too household objects especially furniture doors window frames dimensions of wall we measure in meter we use meter scale for expressing a height of a tree or building or length of a vehicle what can we measure in kilometers kilometer is used to measure the distance distance between two cities countries or places is expressed in kilometers huge distances between the sun and the earth between the planets are measured in kilometers so kids this is a task for you can you list three objects surrounding you for which you will use the measurement scale millimeter how do you express the length of a carrot or your height how much distance you travel to your school from home thanks for watching this video for more videos please subscribe to this channel